Now then, everyone. Have you signed the petition yet? Really? Have you signed it yet? It's another tool to help us get some lawful, unadulterated, no bullshit ways of making the police be accountable and transparent. You're the same as me. You, you can be arrested exactly the same as me. You can be charged exactly the same as me. A totally innocent person can be charged, arrested, and have freedom taken away. You know, that's the main thing that these people like to do, these police. They like to take a person's liberty and stop it. I don't care how long, whether it's a simple detainment or whether it's you put in the cells and hours later you're re released or days later you're released. So have you signed the petition yet? In Scotland, it's getting worse. It's not getting any better. They've had tall, tons of chiefs replacing chiefs. You know, it's not getting any better. Why? Because it's institutional. Have you signed the petition? Why is it getting worse? Because people are not saying anything. And this is the amazing thing that we can do is sign the petition and it makes us more powerful in getting accountability and transparency. News Now Scotland. He's in jail for at least two weeks now until he's been remanded. All because he was out using his phone and doing what he was allowed to do. But what happened? He got arrested the other day. Transparency, accountability. Where's the accountability to that? It's okay for peace police to lie, is it? Have you signed the petition? Police Scotland have to start abiding by the human rights that we are naturally given. Now, people died for this to make sure we had our rights. Have you signed the petition? As a segue to that, I need some research doing from people if they've got the time to find out where all the evidence goes that police keep, what auctions there is, are there police charities that um, benefit from the not collected goods, you know, uh, evidence, you know, like my GoPro, my camera, for example, what if I died? Would the police then sell them across the wood? But I don't know anything about it. I've been on the internet. I can't find anything. Just auction sites. Does anybody know information about this? Have you signed the petition yet? Yeah. Actually, you see this? That's to keep my shoulder in so it doesn't dislocate. Yeah? Isn't it? Isn't it? How, how is that done? My arrest. I was badly hurt. I was seriously attacked. Grievous bodily harm aggravated assault and look what happened to me my shoulder keeps popping it hasn't done that since it was badly injured in 2001 but now it's doing it all the time how did that happen because we don't stand up for our rights have you signed the petition it could be you it could be your son it could be your daughter it could be your best friend it could be your mum. it could be your dad the police are great when they come up to you and go, yeah, if you just turn right and go down there and then do that, they're great. Yeah, fine. But when they have to turn it on, they turn it on big time. And you will not respect the police after you've witnessed it and after it's been done to you. Have you signed a petition? Have you? Let's get my eyes on it. Have you signed a petition yet? If you haven't, why haven't you? The petition is a tool that we can use. It's there so you can sign and other people can sign and we can get enough signatures on the petition to give to Police Scotland, to give to the TV, to give to the radio, to give else, newspapers. Have you signed yet? No? Go to them. Go to them. It's, it'll be on here. Sign. Police auctions, police charities. Oh, my glasses are a bit warped now. It's getting broke. Police charities. Do this, does, the, does the money from auctions of goods and things that are seized, do they get sold? And do they 
get paid into a charity for the police? I don't know. I'm just asking. If anybody can help on that one. Links and everything. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Have you signed yet?